And this morning, I'm just going to talk to you from my heart and let you know what's going on within me. And I pray that this will touch you and reach you right where you are. I want you to know that God knows where you are and that He deeply cares and loves you. You know, many people are concerned and they're reaching out, uh, wanting to know the future. They're wanting to know the things that are happening. And it's plentiful out there, the people that are more than willing to tell you all the gloom and all the doom and all of the devastation and all of the things that are going to come upon the face of the earth. But I'm here to tell you that even though these things may come to pass, <laughs> when you're in Jesus, there is no fear. There is nothing when your focus is kept on Him. This morning I was woke up by a phone call, and it was my children, and they were calling. They were on the road early this morning on back roads, winding country, mountainous roads with storm winds that were so strong that they could barely hold their vehicles in the road. The rain coming down, hail was falling, limbs were coming out of these mountainous roads off of the trees falling and they realized that their lives were in danger and you know I'm not saying that my children are like this but I've seen this over and over in my lifetime your friends and your family they don't want to hear your preaching they don't want to hear about Jesus they want all of the fun things they want you to make them feel good they want you to participate in what they have created in their world, in their realm. They want you to be a part of what makes them happy. And, you know, you may even be mocked and ridiculed and put down for standing for Jesus. But let me tell you something, and this is the truth, that when all hell assails and it's broke loose on this earth, when there's devastation, when death has come, and claimed a friend or a loved one who's the first phone call that they make they want to call the one that can get a hold of God the one that can get a prayer through you know it doesn't matter how rich you are how poor you are uh, you know what you think of yourself how highly esteemed you uh, are in this world every last one of us when devastation and calamity comes we stand and we realize at that moment that there is only one who is in control, only one who has the power and who can do the impossible, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. And we all stand stripped and naked before Him. We will not have a plea. We won't have anything to say because we're guilty before Him. And we are just totally dependent upon His mercy. But you know, when you are of the household of the Father, when your name has been written in the book of life, when you are in daily communication with Jesus through prayer and you know where you stand with Him, then you have freedom in the Son to call upon Him and know that He is always with you, that He'll never leave you, never forsake you, that His eye is always on you. He upholds you with His right hand. You're inscribed in the palm of His hand. He will hold you close to His bosom, and there is nothing that will harm you. Why, even if it was your time to go, the scriptures tell us that God rejoices in the death of His saints. It is precious to Him when He brings one of His very own home. It's only in this earth, earthly realm that we even mourn. You know, but Paul said, the Apostle Paul, to be absent from the body is to be present with Christ. So when all of the devastation and all hell breaks loose, when you are in Christ Jesus, 
It's your hope. It's your joy. It's what you've longed for, what you've been waiting for. There is nothing to fear. The only thing you need to fear is God himself. And to make sure that you're pleasing each and every moment of your life to him and that you're walking in total obedience with your focus on him, exalting him, lifting him up, letting him live his life through you that he may draw all men unto himself, that you're producing good fruit and that when you appear before Jesus, that you will be able to say, not only have I come and stand before you, my King, but I have brought all of these with me. This is the fruit that I have bared for your name's sake. I have been busy building your kingdom and tearing down the kingdom of darkness. Nothing on this earth meant anything to me, Lord, except you and the kingdom of God that dwells within me. There is hope. There is joy. Our Redeemer lives. He's alive today. And He's going to come for us and take us to the place that He has prepared for us. And we will rule and reign with Him. We will never be separated from Him throughout all of eternity. Don't allow all of these false prophets, these doomsday people, these money-making people, people who are gloating attention to themselves because you know what when you cause when people are already fearful and the ones that are fearful are the ones that don't know the Lord well they'll grasp at straws like a dying man trying to get a hold of that life preserved to hang on so they want to hear the latest and all of the things so that they think in their own mind that they can prepare themselves but the only preparation we need to concern ourselves with is knowing that our soul is in right standing with the Lord Jesus Christ and that any moment, whether he calls for us personally or if disaster strikes, we're ready to meet him. We're ready to spend the rest of our life with him, never separated from him. So I want you today to take courage I know that the days are hard. I know that they're dark. But I also know that my Redeemer lives. And when we call upon Him, He is ever-present and He moves for His children. Why, He would turn this world upside down. He comes in the clouds in the dark pavilion where He hides in those clouds. And He will swoop down and He will bring deliverance for those that belong to Him. Now today I want to tell you, if you feel the presence of God dealing with your heart and if he is drawing you run to him because you can't come to him anytime you choose you have to come to him when the father draws you unto jesus that's when the door is open to you that's when jesus is knocking that's when you open you know the doorknob on that door is on the inside it's on the inside of your heart you're the one that has to open that door to allow Jesus the entrance to come in and make his abode in you. And he will wash you whiter than snow. All of your sins will be blotted out even though they were red as crimson. He will wash you with his blood, a miracle, and make them whiter than snow. You will stand before him a brand new baby in Christ Jesus, a new creation. All of the old things of the old man will pass away, and behold, all things will become new. You will have that hope. You will have someone you can talk to and call to and know that he is going to be there, and he will never fail you. So today, tune out all of the negative voices. Tune in to Jesus. Put your eyes on him. Refuse to listen or be distracted by the enemy of your soul. He has implants out there that have grown up and, and have mingled themselves within the children of God. It's the tares amongst the wheat. They look almost identical. It's very hard to tell them apart. You need the Spirit of God and discernment to do that. But Jesus said, go ahead, let them grow up together. In the end, he will send his angels and they will separate them. 
So in the meantime, pray for great discernment. Pray for wisdom. Invite Jesus to come into your heart and life and to make his abode and to write your name in the book of life. Then listen to the voice of the Spirit of God as he speaks into your heart and do all things in obedience to him. He will prepare you. He will get you ready for no matter what you may have to face. I know that for a fact. I'm a living testimony. I could tell you time after time after time that the Lord has sent his great mighty hand of deliverance to me and my family. He has never, not one time, has he failed us. If we have suffered, it's from the making of our own doings. We have reaped what we have sown. But when we walk in integrity and upright before God in faith, in obedience to the Lord Jesus and all that he commands and requires of us, Jesus has never failed us and he never will and he'll never fail you. Put your trust in Jesus today. Look to him and him alone. Call upon his name because he will be there for you. Glory to God. May the Lord Jesus bless you today. May you become rooted and grounded and founded upon the sure foundation, that solid rock, Jesus Christ. Bye-bye.